for some travel longer. Zurich itself. My impressions were it's everything you imagine of Switzerland really. It's the buildings are all as you see them on all the films, the adverts, the everything about Switzerland. It, it fits. It, yes, it really does look like that. Um, as I said before, super clean. Um, the paths, the cycle tracks are in the city are absolutely unbelievable. They're massive, they're like aircraft like runways. All the time, they're all beautiful wheelchairs, I'm absolutely no bother getting around. Um, it's good. Uh, Zurich itself is kind of made in a a bit of a, a U-shape in the in the valley sides, so you get the lake, the top end, and Zurich wraps itself somehow around that lake, and then the main part of Zurich is at the bottom end of the lake where it, it's outlet, um, and that's sort of the graphics of the thing, basically. So uh, with it being in like U-shape, we're basically lay sort of north south southish. So you can't really not get it wrong. If you start going uphill, you know you're going in the wrong direction. Uh, so just keep it uh, on the flat and you're going basically up and down the city. Well, the majority of it. Um, there's obviously loads of things to see. I am here on a tourist trip. Uh, if I was, I probably would quite enjoy it. In fact, I know I would enjoy it. Because the people are absolutely over the top and they actually, it does become a little bit unnerving just how friendly and how much they want to help you. But, I mean, I don't like a lot of people, you know, buzzing about and trying, wanting to push me and to want to do this and help me do that, and I don't like that. So that's just me, that, so I don't take it as a bad thing. I just like that. I like to be on my own a little bit more. Um, but if you're the sort of person that wants help, you will have help, believe me. Um, yes, into Zurich, got on with business straight away. I out there as a tourist, I've got my tickets, I went, you go into the main station, of all the horror stories, forget it all, it is so simple, it is crazy. So I got off the plane, train into Zurich, smooth as, Gets out of there, goes to the, um, it's kind of like our version of a tourist information kind of thing. But from there you can book anything as well. So from there basically explain what I want to do. It's a chief charity. I was trying to get to the uh, source of the blah de blah de blah. And we went through the whole lot. So we're now, uh, tomorrow, we'll be on the next stage of the journey which will be uh, taking me, uh, there's only one transfer on trains involved in this, but it might get a little bit iffy on the way up to the, the actual, you know, the, the little bit, because it is a serious bit of off-road to seriously get to the actual source. But we're just going to have to play that by ear for now. But we are there, we are at the beginning of the Eurovera line team, which will take me back home. Um, so yes, one thing I should mention, because everybody seems to have a hang up about it, prices, prices, right. If you're the sort of person I was going to have a panic on about the prices, don't come. You're not going to enjoy it. The only way you're going to enjoy Zurich is just forget about the money. Now I know that sounds horrible, but it's true. Because you're just going to have to accept that some things are a lot more expensive than what they are in Britain you can expect to pay for the coffee. 
even though you just walk through the machine and go and get one. It is expensive. I mean, obviously, if you're in the cafes in the city centre, oh, well, don't even bother. I'm not even going to go down that road. Um, but, yeah, dining out, anything like that is expensive. Now, what? this is what is so crazy here. Is because you, all the prices that you see everywhere you go, the whole city is covered with Aldi's and Lidl's. So whatever you want, just go there. It's a, the same price as what you pay in this country. Hey, in this country. It's the same price as what you pay in England. It's exactly the same thing. Might be labelled a little bit differently, but you can find out more or less the same items that you find in England. They're just here in Aldi. It's the same thing. And the prices are the same. So if you're having a hang up about it all, Go and buy most of what you want at Aldi or Lidl. And then, just if you fancy a cup of coffee sat by the riverside and you're prepared to pay for it, then save your money in Aldi and then spend a lash of bit out on having a coffee sat looking across the lake there. Anyway, end of travel log four.